the solar companies have lied to us and they have lied to us all. I'm going to kind of go back and give you a little bit of history first on how I got into the solar industry. I had an solar system installed on my home and I thought it was a cool way to hedge my bets against electricity prices going up every year. Um, I had a great uh, profit and loss talk with the sales rep and um, it, I was spending three to four hundred dollars a month on electricity. With this, I got a loan that would pay off my um, solar panels for two hundred and eight dollars a month. So for me, it was an easy win. I was locking in my prices at two hundred and eight dollars and I knew I would have enough solar energy for the foreseeable future. And um, I had a very large system installed of 31 panels and 10 kilowatts with 12 kilo, 12.5 kilowatts of uh, power. Approximate loan of about $58,000 at a half a percent of interest, or uh, just under, it was 0.49%, uh, over 25 years, and it was gonna lock in that price. Came with a great warranty, um, had a great, about a $15,000 payback on tax credit, which was fantastic. Um, it was a win-win situation, and it did, in fact, zero my bill. Um, since then, I have had no electric bill for electricity. I've had the base fee of about $28, $29 every month since then. So it turned out very well as far as what I was purchasing and what I was getting for my money. Um, but now, let's take a look at the big five things that the solar companies lied about. And this is by no means a complete list because there is a litany of other items that they lied about. But I picked the big five that I feel after two years of having my solar system were the most important for you to know. Uh, the first one is if there is no battery, you have no power when the electricity goes out. Please let me make that perfectly clear. You are not excluded from there being no power when the power goes out. This is very simple. When the lineman goes out to fix a power line, and let's just say, for example, that the, the power lines are knocked out by a tree. When the lineman comes out to fix this power line, he is going to have to reconnect those lines out there. And if you're feeding power back into the system, back into the grid, then that means that he is going to be playing with live wires. He can shut his side off, but shutting your side off or shutting all the house's sides off is a little bit more difficult. So just keep in mind, there is no I switch that isolates your power from their power on systems without a battery. You are without power when you have a hurricane or when you have a tornado or when you have a simple tree falling on things, you have nothing. And it doesn't matter how many solar panels you have. It doesn't matter how much power you're generating. It simply doesn't matter. You are without power. Okay, that was the first lie. The size of the panel production does not mean that you're going to get all that power. So for my example, they say that I got 12.5 kilowatts of solar power. I did have 12.5 kilowatts of solar power, but I only had 10 kilowatts of an inverter. So my panels could generate 12. My inverter could only generate 10. That meant on these days when I have tons of sun and I sit at 10 for an hour and a half or two hours, all that extra power is wasted. They don't make this very clear to you when you're purchasing the system. It will tell you in the contract in the small print, but they outright lead you to believe that you're getting 12.5 kilowatts of power. Is there reasons for it? Yes, there are some legitimate reasons for it. Make sure that you ask what those reasons are and why and make them prove to you the statistics behind what size number of panels are installing. That is the expensive part here, is the installation. And we'll get into that a little bit more. Um, they're gonna save a little bit of money on the inverter, a couple hundred dollars, and it's gonna cost you how much in electricity. That's what you really need to be asking yourself. Moving on, number three, uh, they are charging you for the support. Let me make that clear. They are charging you for the support up front. So. Don't, be under the, don't get under the misconception that everything that you're paying for is actually the panels and the installation. Ask for a breakdown. So ask them, what does the equipment cost? What does the install cost? What does it cost to do the licensing for this? What does it cost for the permitting? And how much time is each one of them? Have them break it down. This reminds me very much of the air conditioning world. In the air conditioning world, you call an air conditioning company and you say, I need you to repair my air conditioner. They come out to your house, they look at your air conditioner, they say, you gotta replace this fan, it's gonna take two hours, they charge you for two hours, they give you a bill for 300 bucks, plus the parts, and they leave. Now, 
sell the same air conditioning company and ask them to install an air conditioner. They're going to charge you the $4,000 for the equipment, which is legitimate. The air conditioner costs $4,000. I'm sure there's some markup in there that I'm not complaining about. What I'm complaining about is the $8,000 of labor that they're going to charge you. This $8,000 basically equates to 50 hours of labor. Even if you have two guys out there for, for eight hours per day, that's 16 hours. Are you telling me that all the other work around that adds up to 34 hours of labor? No, it don't. They are also lying to us. Make sure you understand what you're getting for this extra money and make sure they itemize every single item. That's what's important. Next, ask them how reliable the system is. And, all right. Number four, the financing is a lie. It is a tool that they use just like at a car dealership. They find out what your budget is, they find out how much you're spending, they do an energy audit, they look at your electric bill, and then they come up with a price that you can afford that's gonna show a profit. They aren't actually doing anything but determining how much you can afford and then pricing the system to fall within that range. What you need is an independent person to give you an idea. These companies are lying because they they want the upfront fees so that when you finance this, even if you pay it off early, it doesn't matter. They've already got their money. They've already got 20 years of support or 10 years of support and warranty and replacements and monitoring. You paid for it all. This is no different than paying for your security system on your car and your repairs and your new tires and your oil changes and your gas and everything. What would your car cost if they added all that in? That's what they're doing for solar panels. The point for the half a percent interest is a lie. They're not financing anything. They're allowing you to pay it out with all the interest fees and everything already included in there. What they also didn't tell you is when you go to sell your house, the mortgage company that is going to be the financing mortgage company that's coming in to buy your house is going to tell the, um, the mortgage company is going to tell the appraisers to not include the price of the solar panels because the solar panels have a loan. So hereby, you are being double penalized for these solar panels. Get me down straight on that. You're being double penalized. One, for the loan. Two, because they won't count the value of the panels that is on your house. So please pay very close attention to what they are, what you are financing. And if at all possible, take option five to help you avoid financing altogether. All right, let's take into option. You can do, and don't let them lie to you and tell you you can't. You can do some of this work yourself. You can do some of this work yourself or all of this work yourself. If you can't do it yourself, then you can get someone that, that does not have a financial incentive to lie to you to help you. You can get a consultant to tell you what type of inverter you need, how many panels you need, to perform your audit, to review the contractors. You can learn what it takes to get your permits and you can find someone to assist you in doing the installation or to do the installation for you, but understand what they're actually installing so that you don't get burned and finance a whole bunch of extra. You can also start small, work your way up into larger systems. Most systems are built to be built on. Don't let them lie to you and tell you that you can't grow your system. You absolutely can. And a contractor that understands this would be glad to explain that to you and how these systems work, how you can add more batteries, how you can add a battery, how you can be the only house in the neighborhood with the lights on when the power goes off because of a hurricane or because of tornadoes or because a truck ran over the telephone pole. You could also figure out how to minimize the cost for maintenance. After you've already talked to these solar companies and they've told you how many repairs that they have coming in and how reliable things are, you can then determine what is it going to cost you to support them as opposed to just paying them up front for an absorbent number of visits to your house so that they can cover their rears so that later they don't lose money on this deal. You can even find a resource that can review the proposal of these companies and let you know what they're actually offering so that you're not trusting the person selling it to you. Imagine bringing someone in when you're buying a used car. If you're young and you don't know how to buy a used car, you bring somebody who has more experience to come with you. Same thing's true with solar panels. 
find someone to help you understand what you're purchasing so that you don't end up in this boat with these five lies and the other 50 that come along with it. I hope this content helps and I hope that you get a solar system that is awesome and works and satisfies all your need. Please click on this video to see when what kind of battery you might be interested in.